let's continue now. Solving by elimination. As we said, we always want to look for the uh, variable to have the same number in front. Even if the uh, if it's not the same positive or negative value, that's okay. It's the number in front of the letter that we want to be the same. Now, in front of x, we have a 3. In front of this x, we have a 4. In front of this y, we have a 2. In front of this y, we have a 5. Now, none of them are exactly the same. So what do we do to eliminate it? Well, what we want to do is we're either going to eliminate x or we're going to eliminate y. If we eliminate for any one of these numbers, we have to find a common multiple or that will that we can make both of these x's to be exactly the same. So, what I can do, if I want to eliminate x's, if I want to eliminate my x's, I'm going to multiply this by 4. I'm going to multiply this one by 3, which means what I do to 1, I'm going to do to everything. If I want to eliminate my y's, I'm going to multiply the whole thing by 5, my whole equation 1. And if I want, I'm going to multiply my whole equation number 2 by 2. So it doesn't really matter um, which one I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, in fact, eliminate for x. So what we did was um, before we eliminated for y, and so we're going to eliminate for x. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the multiply by, uh, we're going to eliminate our x's. So what does this mean by multiplying by 4? Well, we're going to multiply all of these terms. By four. So we're going to expand this equation. We're going to rewrite equation number one right, by a multiple of four. So instead of 3x, we're going to have 12x. Instead of positive 2y, we're going to have positive 8y. And instead of equals 2, we're going to have equals 8. Okay? So bottom equation, as we said, we're going to multiply all of these by 3. So equation number 2 will look like this. 12x right, plus 3 multiplied by 5y, which will give me 15y equals 3 multiplied by 12, um, which will give me 30. Six. So now if I look at this, look at this right here. Both of my x's are exactly the same. So as we've as I've done before, all right, and let's do it in a different color. As I did before, we've got 12x. Right? Here's my box. 12x. So is it gonna be, am I gonna add these two together? Or am I going to subtract these two together to give me zero? That's really what I want to do. I want to figure out what sign is going to allow me to eliminate x's. Right? So what can I do to eliminate these x's to give me zero? And if you said subtract them, you're correct. So 12x minus 12x will give me zero, which means to eliminate, I am going to subtract these two together, and I'm going to subtract these two together. So 8y minus 15y is going to give me negative 7y equals 8 subtracted by 36 is going to give me negative 28. And just like we've done before, we want to isolate for y. So we're, right, we want to solve for y here. So we're going to divide by whatever number is in front of y. So what is the number in front of y? It's negative 7. So we're going to divide this by negative 7. But what we do to this side of the equal sign, we must do to this side of the equal sign. So the two negative 7s divide out, leaving us just with y. And so we're left with y equals negative 28 divided by negative 7 will give me positive 4. So now in my y value, my y value is 4. So now what I'm going to do is I can eliminate y if I want now, right? Remember how we said before, you know, what we can do? Um, we can eliminate y if we want or take this number here, 
this y is equal to 4, and substitute it into either equation 1 or substitute it here into equation number 2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute it into equation number 1. So in equation number 1 looks as follows. 3x plus 2y equals 2. So as we said, we're substituting y is equal to 4. So instead of, so we're substituting into y. So we're going to put brackets around just the y. We don't want, we're not putting brackets in, around x. We're not solving or substituting for x. We're substituting for y. So in other words, we're going to have 3x plus 2 brackets, right? 4, right? Equals. 2. So 3x plus 8, right? 2 times 4 equals 2. Okay, so now I want to just lower this, right? Isolate for 3x. So 3x, I've got my 2. I want to move this positive 8 to this side of the equal sign, right? Because remember, we're always wanting to isolate between left and right sides of the equal sign. So this positive 8 is going to move over to this side of the equal sign, so it becomes negative 8. So we're left with 2x equals 2 subtracted by 8, which will give me negative 6. So I'm going to expand the page. So I want to isolate for x. So divide this by the number that's in front of x, which is 2. <coughs> divide both sides by 2, right? My 2's divide out. All I'm left with is x. So x is equal to negative 6 divided by 2, which will give me negative 3. So what are my uh, points of intersection? Well, my x value is negative 3. My y value, as we found with the previous step, is 4. So in other words, if we are solving for this linear system, if we were to graph these two points, these two points will cross at negative 3 and 4. So what you could do is check this. So substitute 3 into x or substitute 4 into x um, and prove that the left side equals the right side ignore that this is supposed to be equals not not equals right so that's really what you're going to be proving and in fact you are going to notice that yes um these um this is the actual proper solution